The sheer number of small boats have overwhelmed our asylum system and forced the government to place asylum seekers in hotels. These hotels take valuable assets from communities and place pressures on local public services. Seaside towns have lost tourist trade, weddings have been cancelled, and local councils have had their resources diverted to manage them. And the hard-working British taxpayer has been left to foot the eye-watering £2.3 billion a year bill. Madam Deputy Speaker, we must not elevate the well-being of illegal migrants above those of the British people. It is in their interests that we are sent here. The enduring solution to stop the boats is to take the actions outlined in our Bill. But in the meantime, it is right that we act to correct the injustice of the current situation. I have heard time and again of councils up and down the country struggling to accommodate arrivals. This is no easy task. The Government recognises that placing asylum seekers into local areas comes at a cost, and so central government will now provide further financial support. Today we are announcing a new funding package, which includes generous additional per-bed payments and continuation of the funding for every new dispersal bed available. We will also pilot an additional incentive payment where those properties are made available faster. But faced with the scale of the challenge, we must fundamentally alter our posture towards those who seek to enter our country illegally. This Government remains committed to meeting our legal obligations to those who would otherwise be destitute. But we are not prepared to go further. Accommodation for migrants should meet their essential living needs and nothing more, because we cannot risk becoming a magnet for the millions of people who are displaced and seeking better economic prospects. Many of our European partners are struggling with the same issue. Belgium, Ireland, Germany and France are having to take similar steps, and the UK must adapt to this changing context. I have said before that we have to suffuse our entire system with deterrence, and this must include how we house illegal migrants. So today the Government is announcing the first tranche of sites we will set up to provide basic accommodation at scale. The Government will use military sites being disposed of in Essex and Lincolnshire and a separate site in East Sussex. These will be scaled up over the coming months and will collectively provide accommodation to several thousand asylum seekers through repurposed, repurposed barrack blocks and porter cabins. In addition, my right hon. Friend, the Prime Minister, is showing leadership on this issue by bringing forward proposals to provide accommodation at Catterick Garrison Barracks in his constituency. And we are continuing to explore the possibility of accommodating migrants in vessels, as they are in Scotland and in the Netherlands. Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to be clear. These sites on their own will not end the use of hotels overnight. But alongside local dispersal and other forms of accommodation, which we will bring forward in due course, they will relieve pressure on our communities, and they will manage asylum seekers in a more appropriate and cost-effective way. Of course, we recognise the concerns of local residents, and we are acutely aware of the need to minimise the impact of these sites on communities. Basic health care will be available, around the clock security will be provided on site, and our providers will work closely with local police and other partners. Funding will be provided to local authorities in which these sites are located. Madam Deputy Speaker, these sites are undoubtedly in the national interest. We have to deliver them if we are to stop the use of hotels. We have to deliver them to save the British public from spending eye-watering amounts accommodating illegal migrants. And we have to deliver them to prevent a pull factor for economic migrants on the continent taking hold.